Tattooing has been practiced for centuries in many cultures spread throughout the world. However, times have changed, and we can now see celebrities sporting them on the red carpet. And since 2007, tattoo popularity has grown 13%, leading to the number of people with two tattoos or more to double. So I decided to interview the general public, as well as a professional tattoo artist, to find out what people really think of tattoos. My name's Mark Kane, and I'm the owner of Cultural Tattoo Dinley. I've been a tattoo artist now for five years. I started in April 2010. Uh, my personal favourites to tattoo are portraits and uh, black and grey, anything black and grey really, I love doing that. Uh, as a younger artist, I've always been into it from being a young kid. Um, I think my first, my dad took me seeing a Lowry exhibition in Salford, um, because that was local landscape and stuff, that really got me interested. As I've grown older, I've developed greater taste, like uh, now, now it's it's a tattoo and it's more like stuff Bob Zero, Shane O'Neill, who are both specialists in black and grey, so they're the kind of guys I've been to really. Sometimes it can show a story on yourself, or you know, it's to get someone like remembered, like get tattoos to remember people by. It's something it means something to you. It's always something special. It's never just you know because you can. It's because it looks good and it tells a story. We don't have a stereotypical customer really because we get people from all walks of life. Like this morning, Jay tattooed a lady in the late sixties. Um, you know, it's we get all walks of life coming in. It's surprising really, you'd think there was a stereotype group, but there's not. I've never really thought about getting a tattoo specifically, like just for the sake of getting a tattoo, but I have considered if there was something that I felt very strongly about and was very important, that's the point where I'd intend to get one. But as of this point in my life, there's n nothing like that sort of cropped up that I thought, yes, yes, I really want that on, on me forever. Go into it and if you think it could cause problems in future, uh, jobs, whatever, you know, it's, it should sort of bring it to their attention. But sometimes they, they are concerned themselves, they'll say, I'm okay having a solo down on me, I'm all, will it be okay? So, yeah, they are becoming much more aware of the position of the tattoo. Again, when, for example, a, a girl wanted a tattoo on the side of her neck, and I said that would cause problems in her current line of work. So she didn't have the tattoo, so hopefully we can stop it before it gets that bad. I think people regret tattoos mainly for the reason that it's permanent, and once it's on there, it's very, very difficult to get off. Even though when I'm old and wrinkly, they're always going to remind me of my youth and what I was like. I've noticed since I've had sleeves and one on my hand, if you go in like a posh restaurant, people stare at you much more than they ever did before. Um, and I know my colleague, he's got tattoos in his face and again that does have some impact uh, but they are becoming a lot more acceptable in society these days so it's less likely to happen I think the younger generation now are more accepted because they've grown up with it uh, they've seen all the celebrities like footballers and, and stuff they've all got tattoos now whereas the older generation it was usually sort of the outlaws the, you know, the uh, local hoodlum who had tattoos, whereas nowadays it's much more general in, in society. Yeah, they actually have uh, about half a dozen tattoos. I think some of the designs are fantastic. Um, they're very addictive. Um, after having the first tattoo, just wanted the second one. Just after the second one, wanted the third one. Yeah, I, I just think they're amazing. Really make sure what, you know what you want. Um, I've seen some terrible designs. People have had good ideas, but good idea doesn't look good on your body as such. So really 
think about what you want to get as a tattoo? Me personally, I would get a tattoo because I really I like the look of them and I want something special to be on me so I can remember people or so members of my family by. I would get worried of, about getting a, a tattoo for a job or well, that because if I if I got one in this current day and age, people are starting to overlook people with tattoos and say they look scruffy and it's it's not professional. But but in my eyes, I believe it's nice, it's good. You know, it's it's not always as bad as it seems. The one on my arm for my dad. It's my favourite tattoo. I got it for my 19th birthday. Throughout this entire documentary, the most important thing I think I've gathered from people is that tattoos have no gender, no ulterior motive. People get them to express what's on the inside. Don't let anyone stop you from being yourself because in the end, if you're not yourself, who are you?